all and welcome back to this course on digital systems. So having looked at the idea of a sequential circuit design, let us continue our discussion on the topic of counters. Okay. So we had looked at you know uh, the example of uh, the design of a T flip flop based uh, you know sir, sequential circuit with the example of a ring counter. Right. You start from 0, 0, 0, 0, go all the way to 1, 1, 1, 1 and then cycle back. Right. That was the state machine that we are talking about. So let us look at you know if we were to implement this with uh, a D flip flop based system then what would you what would we do right. So let us start with that ok. So the state machine is actually the same thing I will not draw the whole thing ok you are going to go to 1 1 1 1 I mean 0 0 0 1 all the way like this up to 16 state which is 1 1 1 1 and you know you go back in circles like this. So somewhere halfway through is where you will see 1 0 0 0 ok and you go out like this yeah. So this is the state machine that we are talking about right and uh, of course, what we want to do now is to design this with a D flip flop based system. So I am going to talk obviously I have 4 bits uh, representing the states and which is 16 states and therefore I need 4 D flip flops ok. I have 4 D flip flops here Okay, and then you have the inputs like this. Uh, I'm going to call this D0, D1, D2, D3, and my outputs are going to be Y0, Y1, Y2, and Y3. Okay, so I'm going to <coughs> design the uh, system based on this and uh, we are also going to assume for now that the system is somehow reset and it starts in uh, actually it does not have to be that uh, no it has to start in the state 0 0 0 0 right. We are going to assume that initial state ok. So let us look at the design now present state ok and uh, this is y3 y2, y1, y0, next state ok is you know again it is going to be y3 I would say the next state is going to be the inputs d3, d2, d1, d0 right. So if this is 0, 0, 0, 0 I want to go to 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, then I go to 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, right. Um, maybe for simplicity to keep this simple uh, and tractable, I will make this a 3 bit counter, ok. Instead of a um, 4 bit counter, it just makes it easier to drive home the point rather than enumerating all 16 states ok. So 0 0 1 1 0 0 and then I am going back to 1 1 1 ok. So let us just focus on that 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 uh, sorry 1 0 0 then I need to go to 1 0 1 1 0 1 I go to 1 1 0 1 1 0 I go to 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 I go back to 0 0 0 right. So this is my next state and obviously we are now going to solve for D2, D1 and D0 right. So it is a very straightforward thing to look at right. So um, basically each 
d0, d1 and d2 are going to be functions of, so if you look at d0, it is summation min terms 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. Uh, yeah, summation min terms 0, 2, 4, 6, right, very straightforward. D1 is summation of min terms um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. D2 is summation min terms. So, this is very straightforward. Remember, when we are doing a D flip-flop design, I do not have to worry about the uh, excitation table of the D flip-flop because whatever is my new state is going to get applied there and therefore I don't have to worry about it you know I worry about transforming this next state using the excitation table of the d flip flop okay d2 is uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay 3 4 5 and 6 so let's try to simplify this expression so if I again So, this is my y3, y2, y, sorry, y2, y1, y0. y1 bar, y0 bar, y1 bar, y0, <coughs> y1, y0 bar, y2 bar, y2, okay. So, this is 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6. Obviously, I will make a copy of this now because I need to solve it thrice for three different inputs. Okay, so uh, yes, okay, I have this here, yeah, right. So now what am I going to do? I am going to look at D naught, okay, which is my D naught, which is M of 0 2 4 6 yes 0 2 4 6 okay 0 2 4 and 6 right so this is a very straightforward boolean simplification k map you just do this and you get the answer as y not bar okay d1 uh, sorry this is d not D1 on the other hand is going to be 1, 2, 5 and 6, okay, 1, 2, 5 and 6 and therefore this again is very straightforward, you have two of these and therefore it simply becomes, uh, yeah, this is interesting. So, it is just Y1 bar Y0 plus Y1 Y0 bar. Okay, let's keep this or we can write this as y1 xor y0. d2 on the other hand, uh, sorry, this is supposed to be in magenta. So, y1 bar y0 plus y0 y1 y0 bar which is y0 xor y1. d2 on the other hand is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, right. So, this is just 3, 4, 5, 6 and therefore, um, 3, 4, 5 and 6, right. So, uh, 
two, one, two, three. Yeah. So let me look at this again. So I am talking of uh, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Yes. So one, zero, one. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I have D two. Okay, which is going to be. Uh, I can group these. I can group these. Okay, and uh, I don't think you can do anything with that. Uh, why one? Why not? Okay, that nothing can be done about it. Okay, so if you look at this, what we are basically saying is D two is going to be equal to. Um, y2 times y1 bar okay plus y2 times uh, the end y0 bar plus y2 bar times y1 y0 okay or this can be written as y2 into uh, y1 bar plus y0 bar plus y2 bar y1 y0 okay so let us keep this in mind right and then we can of course you know we can go ahead and put in the logic gates that are needed for this particular implementation this is very straightforward so for example if you take this um, If you take this implementation here, okay, so all we have to do is, uh, I'll do it in the same color so that you know the thing I'm talking about. Right, so this is simply going to be uh, wait clock. Okay, y naught is just coming, getting inverted, going into d naught. Then y one and y naught have to get XORed. Right, so in magenta. Uh, no, this is not the right way to do it. I should bring this here in magenta because that's why not and so this is why not y1 xor okay. Now d2 is a slightly more complicated expression right which is basically if you look at this thing. I can write this as y2, y2 and y1, y0 whole bar, right? I'll use De Morgan's laws and make this y1 bar plus y0 bar as y1, y0 whole bar, okay? Plus y2 bar into y1, y0, okay? Uh, so if you look at this, what are we talking about? If you look at, uh, you know, we are talking about an XNOR between um, this thing. Okay, so we'll just draw this as it is. Okay, I have Y1, Y0. Yeah, I'll draw an, a NAND gate here. Okay, which will give me Y1, Y1, Y0 whole bar. Okay, so I am going to get y0 from here, y1 from here, okay, and then I am going to, so what I have here is the output of that NAND gate is y0, y1, y0 whole bar and if I invert, I will get y1, y0 from there, okay. Now what I have to do of course is to 
multiply this to put an AND gate here, okay, and an AND gate here as well, okay, and then an OR gate. Okay, so I am assuming that I have access to Y2 bar from here. Okay, so basically I, I need Y2 from here. Okay, so I will just label that here. Okay, as Y2 and this one as Y2 bar. Okay, I am not drawing those lines, but effectively this is the circuit implementation that we get if we were to do the D flip-flop based implementation.